So not only did we just do, uh, actually we only did like 90 soul awakenings for 420's account, but we managed to hit 600 points literally on the dot. If you guys didn't check out that video, make sure you guys do. But what we also have to do is a bit of an account overview because, well, this is another example of what feels like a very well thought out account. However, I do have a couple complaints and the main focus on this account is going to be void campaign and of course void invasion bosses. Uh, now it looks like, yeah, kind of weak hits over here overall. Um, six of 10, not bad. And then for the actual campaign, we're stuck on six one, which is a little bit of a tricky wave. Chances are uh, chapter six does have a big spike in power level. So it does make sense if you made it through chapter five to instantly get stuck right here. Same thing happens with chapter seven. The second you get through all of six, seven become seven one one becomes like a gigantic wall to surpass. So one thing that I will critique and immediately say I don't like is this right here. The fact that Phantom Defire Lena really doesn't have power on her. She doesn't have Tree of Origin. She doesn't have Destiny Transition. She doesn't have any of that because what that means is your Aspen is weaker than he should be. We take a look at his home right here. I do like what you did with the Aspen. I do like what you did with the Ankiramaro. And I definitely like what you did with the Scarlet Queen Halora. I just really don't like what's going on here. You can kind of see the difference in power. You're essentially taking... Uh, almost 4 million attack maybe less like 3 million attack away from your lord of your aspen that's the big thing i'm not even mad at the doom terminator vulcan technically uh because that is a good project to have however i feel like you might have tried to emulate it my later game account a little too much having the doom terminator vulcan the betty and the lord of your aspen on an account that's this early you're stretching yourself way too thin while I really do enjoy this Betty, uh, she does not belong having Destiny Transition, to be honest. The Destiny Transition from this Betty, in my opinion, should be on the Phantom to Fire Lane. I don't know if anybody agrees or disagrees in chat. You guys let him know in chat right now if you guys are on the live. Uh, but personally, I think that power over into this Phantom to Fire Lana would literally increase his stats by another 3 million. That might not sound a lot, but that's literally what? One seventh of it, right? Seven. It's a decent chunk. It's a decent chunk. Do you want me to actually change it so we can see if it does make a difference? Because one thing that is good, and I'm not going to complain at, is I do like the Noble Core. However, Destiny transitioning her, I don't know is super important now the one thing is you probably don't have a core so taking her up to destiny transition might not be possible right now core of origin oh no did you used to do this did you swap a, here's a question i just a feeling did you used to have that set up like that and you didn't like it do it do it <laughs> all right <laughs> do it do it all right so first things first all right mr star wars let's let's see what this battle looks like as a before then if that's the situation we're in um we're also gonna use your core let's see what the battle is shaping up like uh i might want to move the aspen to a different target the one thing she will help with though is survivability for sure i could keep her at um origin one yeah but at the same time yeah this is going to be a little bit of an rng fight anyway just because we need the enemies to hit betty first uh but yeah the, oh, this this will be a perfect example That was not a great crowd control. I like the hit. Yeah, there's just so much dot damage stuff coming in, it feels like, too, at the end of the round. The poisons and the bleeds. It's really bad when they don't hit Betty right away. Oh, my gosh. Our whole team's going to die before Betty even gets the CC off. 
I'm pretty sure the core is on. Did I not activate the core? I'm pretty sure I did. You gotta remember, you only have like one other hero with a core of origin let rank. Let's just, let's just make sure. It should have been turned on. Yeah, it's, it's turned on. It's activated. Uh, it is a level six. So, I mean, it is a 65% chance. We're just getting a really bad low roll here. The problem being is that this Betty doesn't really need to be doing damage. She needs to be, the, the power I feel like needs to be on heroes that can support like that Phantom to Fire Lana. And on top of that, this Aspen's active will be more powerful in that case as well. We're still going to have the Betty. We're still going to keep it in there, but it might help out a bit. Okay, so that was a couple examples there to see. Uh, let's just check your resources. Oh, you only have 20 soul symbols. I hate doing this. I really hate doing it when you're really, really low. But you are a spender, so it's not like you're not going to come across more of them in the future. Should we do it, chat? The problem is I think I need to regress her in order to do this and rebuild her. And I don't know if that's something... I'd want to do just yet until you get more resources. 20 is really, really low. Because again, you have to get rid of this hero in order to get the tree of, well, not really, because we still want her to have the max tree. If anything, actually the doppelganger, in a t you know what? That's actually something that might work better. Taking the power out of the doppelganger Natalia and putting it into the Elena instead. Uh, those are the worst twines I've ever seen on a Betty. I know, right? And it's not even like it's bad. Uh, you obviously have full sublimations. You have a noble core. You have plus three, so it's literally 65% chance. Insanity. Maybe you need to reroll this copy to get like more control precision or something like that. I think for the time being, 420, I would wait. Um see how you're doing in other game modes and stuff one thing to note is if you really want to progress in void campaign you're going to want to invest more power into the lord of your aspen that does mean you're taking some of the power away from this uh doom terminator vulcan clapped kit thank you for that tier one sub man i appreciate it but aspen is going to be the one that's going to more carry you through this right now now, when it comes to the boss that we're talking about, so one thing that you really need, especially if you want to continue to push uh, this boss right here, you're going to want a more powerful hyperspace hunter, Islamok, so that he can survive. Without power in that Islamok, it's very questionable. However, this Betty is going to be good in other situations. Uh, if you go back over, no, not the, not the hollow bosses. There we go. If you go like more to the chapter two one and you try to jump in the two, the Betty will actually be a better option for you. It will get you better progression and such. Uh, using her core in this one is something I actually like doing. So yeah, while it does at first glance looks like a pretty optimized account, at the same time, it really isn't. There we go. That's the type of twines we want to see. However, both of our damage dealers still got crowd controlled, which is brutal. However, once again, without having that hyperspace on our Islamok, we're not generating shields from all these little hits that the enemies are doing. And then we get to the boss hit and then we kind of get wrecked. Uh, I think hyperspace on our Islamok is one of the most important heroes to have when fighting these boss waves. Because the little minions really don't do that much damage. But what they actually do is give you more survivability. Because if you're blocking attacks, that's going to end so much well, for, so much better for you. Because you're building up those shields. So that when the boss does his big hit, you have shields to keep you alive. Uh, should I sell the A copies and buy a bigger Aspen? No, I don't think so. I think what you have is fine as far as copies. I wouldn't worry about that too much. And yeah, like there's no point really going for an S tier hero, honestly. This is a better attempt right here. This is definitely a better attempt. We got a Vulcan hit. Sadly, Aspen is CC'd. 
Gonna get an active in round four, which might kill the boss. Okay, this is looking good. Oh, yeah, see, the Asp is just not hitting for as hard as he really should be. And that is the downside of not having power in your Phantom to fire Lana. It's not a gigantic difference, but it's definitely a difference. Oh, yeah, at this point, he's just getting chain CC. So it's like really close. You definitely have the capability because once you get that boss down, the rest is pretty easy sailing most of the time. Again, the hyperspace on our Islamok would help so much, though. Oh, wow. We only CC'd one enemy right there. That is horrible. And as you can see, Doom Trimmer Vulcan does like absolutely nothing on the Void campaign bosses. So again, trying to focus your power into the Aspen would be the most beneficial thing here. Uh, we might actually get a kill. Because you can see like Vulcan's hitting everybody. It, it's kind of irrelevant. You just need to hit the boss. The boss is the thing you need to die as soon as possible. Hopefully we get a round five active though. Uh, nope, he's silenced and he's horrified. Awesome. Which probably means we just die next round. Still horrified. So much crowd control. Wait a minute. No! <laughs> There's so much CC. And again, the hyperspace hunter Alamak would help a ton. This is why most people build like a hyperspace hunter Alamak around fourth or fifth on their account. Technically, you do have him. He just doesn't have any power invested. So that's something I would kind of consider in the long run. Uh, question said was, should I rebuild Elena with Destiny and put the rest of the power in Hyperspace Hunter Isla Mach? I would most likely say yes. I would not prioritize the Doom Terminator Vulcan just yet. Until you have like your Aspen really, really fixed up. Because again, the Aspen is not only going to help you in the Void campaign. It's going to help you in probably one of the more important ones. And that's the Void campaign invasion bosses. So overall, yeah, if you could move this power into these two. And then once you're done building the Elena and the uh, Hyperspace Hunter Islamog, then you could consider doing the Vulcan. I think the biggest issue I see a lot of people doing is trying to build the Vulcan and the Betty both to be damage dealers at the same time. They both essentially fill the damage dealer role. However, Betty also provides a little less damage, but crowd control. So there's a really big trade-off. You have way too many carries here. You got three damage dealing carry, uh, carry heroes. Two is kind of the max on an account like this. And in reality, the second damage dealer is still kind of premature. Usually your second damage dealer, you want to build as like your fifth or your sixth main hero. And at this point, we just have three of three big damage dealers with the power, but none of the supports to go with it. So try to think about that. Uh, plan ahead since you only have 20 of those soul, uh, those crystals right now. What are they called again? Soul symbols, right? Uh, once you get more of these, then let's talk about it and plan ahead. But for the time being, hold steady. Let's get some resources and then we'll kind of power things back up.